Okay, the Industry Institute. I'm gonna do some. Which I'm not sure how many quests we missions we got here. Uh, missions, quests, tutorials. Take two. Take two. Okay, the uh, Industry Institute. Let's do the um, tutorial here. Obviously, I haven't got it open up on the inside. Got to use these booths here. Activate F. Introduction to industry. This tutorial will teach you the basics of nano of the nanocrafter. What industries are and how to use them as well as how to link assembly lines to linkers. Okay, that'll give you 10,000 Quantas, which is good, and 5,000 talent points, which is excellent. Start tutorial. Welcome to the industry tutorial. First, let's show you how your nanocrafter works. The nanocrafter is part of every suit and can make all sorts of basic parts and elements directly in your inventory. Take a batch of the required materials from the dispenser on your left with the interact key. Open your nano crafter with the crafting key. Okay. This button filters out recipes that require a specific element like a glass furnace or an electronics industry. It only keeps the recipes that are possible to make in the nano crafter that you always carry with you. Click on the show only doable button to see what you can craft with the items in your inventory. Out of the possible recipes select the smallest. The highlighted part of the interface shows you what ingredients are necessary for the recipe you selected. Notice under each ingredient the quantity currently available in your inventory and the required amount. Click the add to queue button to start making the assembly line. Click on the close button to exit this UI. She Your nanocrafter will continue making what we selected minutes. while I show you how industry units work. Industry is necessary because your nanocrafter cannot create every recipe. Go get a batch of materials from the dispenser in the next room. Okay. First, we need to add the basic material needed by the recipe. Open the highlighted container. Cool. Look at this thing. That's the crafting thing. What's this? Hmm. To move the chromite, drag and drop it from your inventory on the left side to the container on the right side. Oops. <laughs> Dragging the tool, idiot. Click on the close button to exit this UI. The highlighted industry unit is a refiner. It transforms base ores into pure materials that can then be used in various recipes. Uh -huh. Use the interact key to open its UI. Click on the recipes button in the left bar to click on the show only doable button to see what the refiner can create with what is in the input container. Select the pure chromium. Click the apply button to confirm this recipe. The start button will make the current industry unit run infinitely as long as the right material is in the input container. Press it to the finish and stop button will make sure the recipe is created only once. Press it to continue further. Cool. This portion of the user interface is where the input containers are shown. Notice that there is an indication in liters to see how much material these containers hold. On the right side you can see where the output containers are linked. Similarly to the left side there is an indicator in liters that shows how full the containers are. This is the products area. Note that some industries have byproducts that are still very useful in other recipes. For example oxygen is critical in many types of fuel and pure iron can be used for building as well as steel products. Some materials can only be treated by an industry unit. For example, your nano crafter cannot transform chromite into pure chromium. Similarly, you'll see in the next step that in order to transform some pure materials into usable honeycomb materials, 
you need a honeycomb refinery. Also, while your nanocrafter can create a wide variety of parts for your assemblies, the more advanced parts require processes that do not fit in the nanocrafter and require a specific industry unit. Assemblies themselves can also only create the next size up of assembly, and certain elements require a minimum size of assembly to produce, for example, all industry units are created with a medium assembly line. Okay. So, we can actually use multiple inputs there. That's interesting to know. And good to know. Only one output container. And there are byproducts. So, I'll create those while it's crafting the or doing what it's doing here. Now that the process is finished, close the user interface by clicking the button or with the escape key. This industry unit is a honeycomb refinery. It transforms pure materials into honeycomb materials for use in building. Use the interact key to open its UI. Click on the recipes button to see the possible recipes in the honeycomb. Under the search bar first click on materials. Open the honeycomb materials category. Open the pure honeycomb materials. Open the chromium category. Select the black pattern chromium recipe. Click the apply button to confirm this recipe as the refinery's task. Now start the refiner to manufacture the honeycomb materials are created relatively quickly since the material was already purified. You can close the interface, the refinery will finish the work. Cool. So input, output of that, input and output of that. Are we waiting till this finishes? <laughs> it looks like it. Now this is this game. Wait. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's just go mine more whilst whilst it's doing that. Gather more resources. Make sure you have enough containers, which I haven't. I've just run out. <laughs> As in, all my containers in my base are full. So after, after doing this, I'm going to go and buy two more. Until I've got the uh, machinery in place to make my own containers. I can make these small containers, but... Uh, XS. These are XS containers. I, I want S containers because they are the ones I can carry from the market. Well, this is fun. Obviously this is going to be a time skip situation. Looks like the other thing completed. Construction. Open the output container. 
To collect the completed honeycomb material, drag and drop it from the container to the right to your inventory on the left. Click on the close button to exit this UI. Honeycomb materials like these are the key to construction. Both the refiner and honeycomb refinery are made using a medium assembly line. Now let's learn how to link containers to an assembly line and how to manufacture a medium assembly line from a small. Get a batch of materials from the highlighted dispenser. Aim at the highlighted assembly and enter build mode by pressing the build toggle key. Activate the link tool, typically the sixth tool in the build mode toolbar. Okay, so I've gone into build mode. Now we're going to activate the link tool, which is cut in f position 5. Create a link from the left container to the assembly. This will be the input. If Click. you don't know how to link, there is an info Click. button to your right. Create a link from the assembly to the second container. This will be the output. Uh, do I click and click or just click on that? Let's try this. Uh, let's try clicking on that. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. You can click on one to the other. Oh, that's going the wrong way, I think. <laughs> Poop. I think that's definitely going the wrong way. Uh, how do I stop? Oh, maybe I can overwrite it. Override it by doing this. No. I <laughs> broke it. Fiddle sticks. Hmm. Lost. More plugs in use. How do I kill this? Hmm. Oh, right. Okay, you go to the actual link itself. Right click, delete link. Now I'll do it correctly. Left click. And left click. Turn build mode off using the build toggle key, then open the highlighted input container. Highlighted input container. Put all four stacks of parts required for the medium assembly line in the container. Close the input container. Now that the input container has everything it needs, use what you learned so far to start the recipe for a medium assembly line. Medium assembly line. Assembly line M. Apply. Run. 
run make stop stop okay <laughs> start good job this concludes your introduction to industry and crafting you can leave now by pressing the interact key on the highlighted teleporter in the next room woohoo Oh, that was a good one. Awesome. How do I link containers? Okay, go ask them. Of course, I need to de link. That was cool. Right, let's get out of here. Nice. More Quantas. 10,000 and 5,000 talent points. Excellent. Oh, that's the end of that one. I'll uh, see if there's another one. That was an important one to do, definitely. Okay, all done. Thank you for watching.